fine you work out to get your blood pumping right, but there's one exercise that could be better than the rest. In our health cast today, I'll show you that exercise that'll really get you sweating and why that could help prevent cardiovascular disease. Thank you. An estimated 85 million Americans are living with some form of cardiovascular disease. That includes heart attack, stroke, and high blood pressure. In today's health cast, Local 10's Christy Kruger fills us in on a local study that might improve vascular function without medication. This is really cool. We've all heard that exercise is good for your heart, your blood vessels too, but this study looks into a very specific form of exercise, hot yoga. Pivot your left heel up. Nearly every day of the week the for the past 15 the years, your right heel is on the outside of your left hip a little bit. Penny Itzkovitz has stepped into a room set at 104 degrees to teach hot yoga. And now curl your toes back under. She got into the practice right after the birth of her first child. And I was addicted from the first time, and it was all about body at the time. I wanted to get thin. I lost like 40 pounds in four or five months, right back to my pre-baby weight. So I was so happy. But then it kind of rolled into something different. Penny started to see hot yoga as a way to better overall health. My heart rate is lower. My blood, my blood pressure is better. Those are the things that I know. I feel like I have more stamina, more energy as I've gotten older. So I can only attribute it to that. Dr. Carlos Samora, director of sports cardiology at Mount Sinai, is curious to see if hot yoga can indeed improve vascular function. Interesting that the first signs of cardiovascular problems is vascular dysfunction. Basically, your blood vessels are not as healthy as they were, and subsequently, you can get heart attacks, strokes, and arrhythmias all kinds of cardiovascular problems. And now extend your arms forward. Study participants will undergo two 90-minute sessions of hot yoga for six weeks to see if their blood flow is improved. Keep the right leg bent. Dr. Zamora will be using a device called the Indopat, which can detect minimal changes in blood vessel function. After we release the pressure from your arm, this will start recording the effects of restoring circulation there. Four. Penny is taking part in this study in the hopes of finding out whether what she preaches to her students is actually true. I think that it could really help everybody live longer, healthier, better lives. And Mount Sinai is currently recruiting 20 healthy subjects for this initial study. Now, if hot yoga does produce some positive vascular changes, the next step will be to study it on people who already have hypertension to see if that practice can then improve their overall blood pressure.